So what I'm going to do is mix some burnt sienna and this is brush out but I'm just mixing it down with water so it just becomes like an ink and I still have some hmm, what's that ah that's quin lilac and this is an ink and it's the Quinn Magenta from Dr. PH Martins. So I'm just going to use a very limited palette of these. I might bring in some greens, but I'm just going to get down the loose flowers first. I'm going to start by just laying down and mixing those two colours together. Some very pale uh, kind of petals. Do that with the brush at the center and moving this part round, or you can do it let me just get a slightly different color and um, with this on the outside so this bit on the inside of the petal I'm just moving around like this that makes a gorgeous color by the way doesn't it so that's the Quinn magenta with burnt sienna gorgeous Oops, picked up some white by accident. Might make these a different shape, kind of slightly different shape than that. And you can always just drop in tiny bits of colour and then now what do I do to some that were very a bit more spiky and I think I'll do a bit more brown here so I kind of just brought some in like this so that's the side of the brush and I'm just pulling them in like this one stroke two strokes and I love that colour too. I'm just going to place them sporadically around. Nice and pale at this stage and then we can always add some details. So just to bring some over the middle of the page so that they marry up together. Just wiggling my brush a bit with this one. use the bottom of a brush I guess so let's just do that
That's another way of creating petals actually, it's just kind of almost scribble them in like this. Scribble. Isn't that a lovely word? And what I'm doing, um, hmm, I did do it on some. So I drop more pigment into the middle like this, which is always a good idea, really. Because what I managed to get with that one was um, different values, so very pale with a darker petal on top. So we might do that, in which case we'd just wait for these to dry and then go over the top of them. Now because that's already dried, it's not traveling, so I'm just going to bring up a little bit of water to the center to encourage it out. a slight side movement so what I'm doing is I turn this page around is I'm putting the brush down and rather than going on the whole side and bringing that in which you can do I'm just going to go down to half way and bring it in from the tip down like this I use that kind of side sweep quite a lot centers in there. And we will scratch in some lines. And we could echo those lines with some details. Okay. Um, we're going to do some leaves now. And I want a kind of a rustic brown. I'm going to bring this forward actually and I happen to know that there is some Quin Gold in here. So I'm just bringing some of that burnt sienna over to here. It's quite a warm colour so I don't want a lot of um, Quin, Quin Gold. I'm just going to do some very pale leaves so that we can add details to them.
I'm just going to do some green leaves now and I'm using stuff that's already on my palette. Um, what big saw that for? This is the ink, which is the Aqua Drop Olive Green um, Schmincke. Mixed with a few other things from other sketchbooks that I've just done. Put these all to kind of merge in a little bit so not to be, you know, too bright. Um, so I'm going to drop in various colours to the leaves and kind of keep that going. So go and have a cup of tea and then we'll come back and finish this. So this time I'm going to go in with a more pigmented brush and um, so not as much um, water mixed with paint. So what I've got going here is a mixture of um, Quinn, uh, yeah, Quinn Lilac and this one, Quinn Magenta, Dr. P.H. Martins. I'm just going to go in and add some details to this. So we can do some more details on this with our liner brush. For now we're just building up kind of a layer on top here, just very loose, could be a scribble again. So 
taking the pigment off my brush there and just going on with the other petals so that there's a, a difference in volume. I'm going to scratch a few things in, a few lines into these. And actually, if you do it with the bottom of a brush, it does kind of travel further than if you're using a skewer. So you can pull out lines. going to go in um, and you could use a pen or you could use a dip pen, paper micron, anything you wish. Just going to add a few more leaves before I do that and I'm going to use these very quick strokes and this is with the eradicator that I showed in a previous class, it's by Billy Shaw. Um, you can use it to kind of take away watercolour lines like this if you wanted. You would go in with this, just very pure water, rub it and the line would go and you just blot it off. But I'm actually going to use it as a brush today because I quite like the way that it puts um, leaves down. It's a really nice kind of satisfying leaf shape. I'm just going to put a few of these in. Very quick movement, it's got a lot of pigment on it and that's a mix of the olive green aqua drop and the burnt sienna. So if you add kind of a brownie colour to green it, it gives you a lovely rich foresty, earthy green. Random placement. And I'm going to get my liner brush. And I'm just going to go in and create some lines. So what we want then is 
a more concentrated colour. So I'm going to go over to my Quinn Lilac here. Mix a little bit of the burnt sienna with it. Get this nice deep plum. I'm just going to do very delicate lines. I'm using only the tip, so only the tip of the brush is making contact. Because we've already got these lovely scratch lines, it kind of works really well with that. I come back to that one, just going to do, and I can start to follow the shape of the petal if I want. And it doesn't have to be on every leaf or petal. So I've done this little shape before in our sketchbook practices and I, I really like it. If it's getting too tacky, just add some water. I'm going in now to the darker green, which is olive green and uh, burnt sienna together. I'm just going to add some little lines to these little filbert leaves that we did. Could just be a tiny movement to elongate the line.
gosh, you can mix and match your colours. So even though I've got the plum colour on this, I can actually go in and complete the line with some green. making sure now that not that you have to and um, all the leaves are kind of connecting in some way and I might still go over this with some pen getting quite busy so I don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to put some circles in the middle of this flower. Different shapes, some not completely closed. show you a trick with a white pen. I'm just kind of making these all come alive. So a mixture of half circles, just the outline of a circle or a dot. And you can do these with uh, a pen as well. You don't need to do it with a, a liner. I'm just going to put a little incomplete circle in the middle of that one. Just 
And I'll put the incomplete circle for that one. And some dots coming out. So it's coming together. I think I'm going to move over to my pen. Just doodle. So I'm just adding to the lines. Just creating whole kind of leaf shapes, very regular. can do is elongate leaves like this. Just put a little dot at the end, I think that looks gorgeous. I love this one here on its own, so I'm not going to mess with that. What I tend to do is use a very fine pen and I break the lines up. I don't, I don't like them too strong. see what I'm doing there. It's just I'm doing the outline of the petal or leaf. Doing another and I'm just pulling it along a little bit like um like that. Very kind of fine and then all the other way it just creates a little frilliness which I like. don't need to follow the leaves or the petals. You can go just outside the petal and I think that looks really nice. As soon as I'm here I'm just going to add a few little dots to this one. Sorry my hand's in the way there. Some little lines coming out. actually do slight thicker lines. I forgot to write. 
quite thick, I think. Let's see what that feels like. Because I just feel like they need to come into the foreground a little bit. getting there. Um, oh yes, I was going to show you with a white pen. Um, make sure that you've got it going because they are a bit temperamental. Okay, so that's going. And then where there are dark dots, you can add some little white spots in with it. Take it out to the outside of the petal if you want. So they kind of do each other a favour by allowing each other to shine. back to a very small one now I'm just adding in maybe some little leaves one little um I use these a lot in my sketchbook practices and I kind of do like little triangle leaves Oh, well, they could be seed heads, could they not? And then some umbellifer, umbellifer kind of um, action going on here. shouting stop Polly at the moment because I do get carried away sometimes and do too much the wind's picking up outside 
it's growing dark. Very cosy though, very cosy painting session today. I'm laughing at myself because I could just carry on doing this and I really need to let this breathe. I think it's run out of breath actually, it's so busy, but um, I have enjoyed it so much. So just some kind of little random dots. Okay, yes, <laughs> I'm going to stop there and I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you again for another sketchbook practice.